Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's the first time visiting. Today I'm talking about my sewing plans for February, probably going into March um, because it's half term in February and it's my son's birthday so I think my sewing time might be a bit more limited this month. Um, I just wanted to say a big thank you to those of you who comment on my videos uh, Margaret, Brenda and Janet always leave lovely comments and it's so nice. Um, yeah, thank you. And thank you to anyone who watches and likes the video. It really does help if you like, comment and share or subscribe. Um, so yeah, so my plans are mainly um, jersey, snuggly, sweatshirt, shirty type plans because that's still how I'm feeling, still cold still dark in the morning, dark at night time early, so yeah. Um, the first one I'll talk about that I have talked about before, it is a woven pattern, it is my next of my make nine that I want to get um, ticked off and it is the Modern Sewing Company Overshirt. There's a diagram of it. So it's a classic worker wear jacket which provides a perfect layer for summer months. It's got a drop shoulder and a square cut so it makes the garment feel roomy and comfortable and it's casual feel is balanced out with the classic shirt making features. So I am going to use, fingers crossed, this. It is a Robert Kaufman, I think it's Tamarack flannel. Yeah, and I bought it a year, two years ago from Sister Mantaka. It's so soft. I think this would, it's going to be great for autumn, winter layering. Um, probably even spring and summer, obviously the colours are more autumn, winter though, but it is so soft and I love these colours and I have got some really nice buttons from the textile centre, which I'll share when, when I've made it, obviously. Um, that's the reverse side. So yeah, I've had this in my sash for a long time, wondering what to make with it and I think the overshirt will be a really good choice. So I think could wear it like the flannel obviously is a layering piece over things and then also probably as it gets a bit warmer or like in autumn before it gets too cold be able to wear it just as a, a shirt on its own anyway so yeah that is my first make and the second of my make nine plans that I want to get ticked off so the modern sewing company you buy, have to buy two, there's two size ranges um, and I bought the first size which at the minute, like for instance, my hips is the top end of that size. But yeah, I think I'm going to size down following on from the classic shirt that I made from the Modern Sewing Company. I'm going to retake my measurements again, check the gar finished garment measurements and I think probably size down, I think. I am hoping to lose a little bit of my Christmas slash January birthday weight so um, yeah that's my first plan. Um, my second one is I did show you the um, Guthrie and Garney box that I got the plateau joggers so that is my second make. I'll put a picture up here of the plateau jog joggers by Closet Core. Um, I've just written a little bit down in my notebook so I remember because my memory is shocking. So I got it in Guthrie and Garney box when they were on sale after Christmas. So it's a high rise jogger. They've got wrap around pockets, which is a bit different. Um, they've got two like different cuffs. You can have like a gathered fabric cuff or like an elastic, well, ribbon elasticated cuff, which is what I think I'll go for. And um, in the summer, I'm definitely going to use this pattern to make some shorts as well. So. That's why I got it mainly. I wanted a new, my new jogging bottoms I've got are like seven years old. and They were a Wendy Ward pattern. Um, and when the plateau joggers came out, I did like the look of them and I really liked the shorts option. So when I saw them in this box, um, I've got them ready for shorts, ready for the summer as well. So this is the fabric that I've got. It is a recycled cotton fleece back sweatshirt in. So it's 62% recycled cotton, 33% polyester and 5% elastane that's the in sweatshirt -y inside so it's quite soft and fleecy um i have washed and tumble dried this 
we shall have to see if it goes the same way as my other cotton poly blend with the um, the bobbling but they're only the joggers like I do to be fair wear my jogging bottoms on the school run um, and around the house but I'm not like wearing them out out so even if they bobble a bit that'll be fine but yeah like this colour then my third plan is for the Jackson tea for Helen's Closet, which I bought in January with the 20% off. So every month she kind of does a like an in-depth look, I guess, to one of her previous patterns. And in January it's a Jackson tea and she did like the free hoodie add-on pack, um, which I haven't like downloaded because I've got like the page hoodie. But I wanted a more relaxed fit t-shirt. And also I do make t-shirts and jumpers for my husband. So yeah, I thought it'd be a good pattern to have. So it they call it a gender inclusive sort of workhorse of a pattern. It's got a slightly dropped shoulder, crew neck, there's two lengths. Like I said, they've got the hoodie free expansion pack now. And I'm going to make it in this navy Pontanel jersey. Just see there. Yeah. So yeah. I've had this in my stash for ages. I got it from Fabric Godmother oh, in lockdown sometime and it's been sat waiting for something. So it's 100% cotton. So the stretch is just like from the weave and the, I guess the pontinelle, like the holes in it. So I didn't want anything where, for instance, like my Dawson top that I'm wearing today, like that needs to have really good recovery, which 100% cotton wouldn't have. So yeah, I think it's sort of perfect for the Jackson T, which is like an oversized or comfortable sized t-shirt. So yep. Yeah. And then my last plan, so I've not gone too crazy with the plans this month, um, is I got it free in a Love Sewing magazine, is the McCall's M8085. There we are. And it is in fact a jersey dress pattern. Um, so it's when they sort of named them, didn't they? Ciella McCall's hashtag. That's what their hashtag is. I don't really get so magazines anymore. I did used to get quite a lot of them, and then I found I didn't really read them. I can't remember when I got this or why I got the magazine because I still don't think I actually read it. Um, but I do like. It's a little bit like the Indigo, isn't it? But jersey dress style. So it's got one, two six sizes so extra small to xxl and it does give the body measurements which would put me in sort of an xl like bust well at large bust xl waist hips um but it does actually also give the finished garment measurements on the back um, and the ease is ridiculous. So it's in the finished garment measurement in inches. I don't work in inches, but I have looked at them previously and thought, oh, that is like a massive amount of ease for a dress that's supposed to be fitted, like elasticated. So um, I'm definitely gonna have to take my time deciding what size to make. Cause obviously it wants to be negative ease on the top really, or just at your measurements. Yeah, those are the different options. So you've got different skirt lengths, a ruffle, different sleeve lengths and sleeveless. So I'm pretty much going to make the one that she's wearing. That's the one that I fancy. And I have had this fabric in my stash. It's a cotton jersey. I can't remember where I got it from. I've had a look because I normally do note down. Um, in my like journals where I bought fabric from when I bought it and who from but I can't find it but there's similar ones out at the minute I think Fabric Godmother I've seen like a similar print maybe Sew Me Sunshine so yeah it's printed it's white on the back I've got about three meters so that should be plenty this top and I'm looking forward to that I think I'll be able to wear it in the spring and the summer and like in the winter now like with tights so yeah, there's my plans. Has anyone made any of these? Any tips? Anything you'd like to share? 
Um, it'd be interested if anyone's made this, how they found the sizing. That'd be good information to have. All right then. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you um, enjoy my videos. That would really, really help my channel. Thanks. Bye.